I kept starting to have these attacks. I didn't know what they were. Um, and I would get lightheaded, I'd get dizzy. I might have this fluttering in my chest. And so I actually started going to the doctor and I started checking it, but they couldn't seem to find anything because it was intermittent. So they put a, a heart monitor on me and they basically diagnosed that I had atrial fibrillation. In five years, I, when I, this first was diagnosed with this, I used to go out to Palm Springs and pay 36 holes of golf, 18 in the morning, 18 in the evening. Well, as this progressed, I got down to lucky to do nine holes. His condition, atrial fibrillation, was if he did anything to bring his heart rate up too high, he would go into AFib. If you don't understand what it is, it's, it's like having a heart attack every time you go into this, and it will last for hours. My atrial fib just got just increasingly worse and worse and worse. In fact, I was taking the max of medication I could take, but I was still going into it. In fact, I started going into it three and four times a week and it would last oh, 10 hours, 20 hours. The surgery that they did was a robotic surgery, which is very unusual. It's not open heart. Um, what's some fascinating about it is it's all done through instruments and not one human hand actually touches your inside. The first day I actually was up walking and I could tell the difference in how I felt immediately. It's like I'm a new person. It's like I'm back to who I was you know, eight years ago. And so that, I can say, is a miracle and a blessing all wrapped up in one. The staff has just been amazing. They have just, even the nurses, they all care for you, work with you. I mean, I, it was amazing how they took the time to talk to me, to, to go through all the, the things that was going to take place. And after I had the surgery, the amount of care that I received I mean, I think Dr. Malloy has gone a mile and more. He can begin to resume the things that he's used to doing without the fear. Um, that worry's not there anymore. He's, um, he's back. I will be indebted to Adventist Medical Center probably the rest of my life.